Happy New Year, everybody. Center in Los Angeles. This is CBS 2 News at 5 p.m. Now on CBS 2 News at 5, a wet and snowy Christmas in the Southland and more weather is on the way. Good evening, everybody. I'm Tom Wade. And I'm Christine Lazar. Merry Christmas, everyone. Rain has been falling off and on all day in some parts of the Southland. Snow has been coming down, too. This is a live look at Mountain High in Wrightwood, where skiers and snowboarders are enjoying the conditions and hoping for more fresh snow overnight. Yeah, but the threat of all that rain is not keeping people away from the pier here in Santa Monica. Take a look at this. It is packed at this hour. Big crowds there, obviously trying to get out on this very chilly Christmas day. CBS2 meteorologist Evelyn Taft is tracking all the conditions for us. Hi, Evelyn. Hi, and Merry Christmas, Christine and Tom. And yes, I could not believe when I saw that shot of the pier how many people are actually out there even with the rain and the cold it's Christmas they're enjoying it uh, and I will tell you we could expect more rain so maybe clearing out in just a little bit. Let's take a look at satellite radar right now. We're looking at a few leftover showers from this round of rain and snow as well. We've got cold air moving in, so the big story tonight is going to be snow levels. Snow levels are dropping quite low, so we could see snow in the grapevine if anybody's planning on traveling in or out of town through the Tahone Pass. We're going to continue to monitor that for you. A closer look at the snow and the rain. We're looking at widespread snow through Wrightwood at the resort there. Rancho Cucamonga looking at heavier rain as you make your way along the 10. Now a few more snow showers still from Running Springs to Big Bear with those snow levels dropping as low as 3500 feet. We'll continue to watch it for you and of course we'll have your full forecast for the rest of the weekend into next week into 2022 in just a little bit. But for now, Christine, Tom, back to you. Thanks, Evelyn. Well, last year at this time, we were dealing with a COVID surge. Yeah, and this year, Omicron is the uninvited guest crashing many Christmases. L.A. County saw a 300% increase in new COVID cases in three days this week, and that trend is expected to continue when they release new numbers next week. Also expected to continue the massive demand for COVID testing. CBS 2's Michelle Geely has spent the day in search of COVID tests. She joins us live from Brentwood. Michelle, did you find any? Well, Christine, as you can imagine, they are hard to come by on Christmas, but we did find a few spots across the Southland, including the one where I am right now. I'm right across from the Getty Center. Now, they tell me they're able to see about 60 patients every 15 minutes. And listen to this statistic. Over the last six days, the operator of this clinic says testing demand is up 450 percent. A long line of people waiting for COVID testing at Kaiser Permanente Anaheim on Christmas got some bad news. They're telling us they're closed for today to come back tomorrow at 6 in the morning. The drive through clinic was scheduled to run until 1 p.m., but many patients who were waiting along East La Palma Avenue were turned away before that, which upset them. They'd spent a long time in their cars. Almost two hours. And what are they telling you? Now they're saying you won't make it by 1 o'clock. That they're closing because it's Christmas at 1, which we understand, but I have a procedure that needs to be done, COVID testing before my procedure, and now they're telling us that they're not doing it. Tony Bauer had waited about two hours for the chance to pull into the parking lot for his test, but was told by a guard he'll have to come back. It put a damper on his Christmas. Like the Grinch just walked over and uh, talked to me. <laughs> It's uh, it's going to be one of those days at the Kaiser facility in Downey.